What's good? Welcome back. Welcome back to whipping it up with his will. Um, so it looks like it's a little dark in here, but let me see what I can do. Yeah, there we go. Brighten it up a little bit. Uh, excuse me, this is gonna be all cut and stuff later, but it is what it is. Um, so you know what? First, I had to clean the kitchen and back. Uh, so welcome, 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 welcome. So today we are back again with cooking. So today we're going to be cooking shrimp and poblano enchiladas. Now with my meals, when you customize it, I went and got, and this is with uh, Home Chef, I try to cut out the pork. I guess they had to recycle it because I changed it after. But mostly just fish and seafood and stuff like that and chicken um, because I'm not trying to eat a lot of that. Even not a lot of chicken and seafood and stuff all the time because you know a lot of stuff don't be good for you. But we're going to be doing that today. It's the shrimp and poblano enchiladas. Um, I will show you what they look like. Hopefully they come out like this. But if you look <laughs> shrimp and po poblano so um, yeah so we'll see how we can get crack into that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it started let's let's get set up all right so we're gonna take all the ingredients out you got your tortillas and that other one is just for this is the other meal this is actually for the barbecue uh this is the barbecue shrimp tacos um but i am using chicken i substituted for chicken and that's something you know i'll make that it will make that stuff for the kids but i'm not going to do all that here tonight we're just going to focus on the blano um, i'm gonna make that too but that's going to be not part of the show today got some corn some cheese in the bags all right oh yeah get you get you some cachaba this is an excellent, this is vanilla, this is a, a super food, this is used for the smoothie in the morning, um, it's great. No, they didn't ask me to um, do this, but you know, if you need me to, I got you. This is good, have yourself, have yourself, you feel good when you drink these, so I'll set that off to the side just so y'all can see. And so, alright, so then we have, got your pepper, okay. You got your little ingredients here, like you see, you got your uh, seasonings. It's the, uh, let me make sure, yeah, taco seasoning That's for the meat, um, or for the shrimp, I should say. And, I'm gonna make sure. that one. Yeah. All right, so. Got to give you a little tomato, and I know some shows they, you know, stuff they have everything cut up, cut up for you and all that stuff. But no, we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll take care of that. This is the cream cheese. Uh, that's probably gonna go into the sauce. It says to take that out and make sure that it uh, softens up. And this is the red enchilada sauce that uh, we'll be able to put on. And again, a nice little bag that it comes with. Shout out. The home chef. Okay. And then you got your meats. So we got this is what the chicken come in. Okay, that's gonna be used later. And then oh you can smell these shrimp too, but they don't smell fishy. Smells like shrimp. It's not a and the bag was open a little bit, so because I took it out, I was messing with it. But that's the shrimp. Smell like they dang they're always almost cooked, but you know, you still gotta wash out right here, put it on the sink. Because you can extend this, see? Slides up so it can fit on the sink. And I'm gonna take the shrimp and rinse it out. So you You know, some stuff be smelling fishy, and you like, oh, I don't wanna cook that because some of the shrimp be smelling. You know, fish and shrimp and stuff be smelling fishy and it's just disgusting. 
but no, nope. this one smells really surprisingly. I eat it all the time, but you know, we'd still like to eat it. You gotta do everything in moderation. This also turned into my trash bag. Put everything in, in these bags as I need them. Okay. Then you can just discard them as they need to. Alright. Okay. So let's get down to the first order. This is a little cutting board is neat. Okay. It says let's get it says let's get chopping. <laughs> Alright. And let's see. Okay. So instructions. We have to prepare the ingredients. So we're going to core the tomato and cut it to half inch dice. Stem and minced cilantro which um, oh that's over there. Cilantro. Oh that's what this is. Wait. Oh yeah. This is a poblano pepper. Got to be stemming and all that. I don't see the cilantro though, which is fine. That's fine. Um, so we just need the tomato. And my kids don't be eating none of the stuff anyway. They don't like, they like everything plain. They like to have stuff that's plain. For instance, they, it's like tacos with just meat, nothing else on it. Not even cheese, you know? So, this is cool. So I'm going to cut this up and I might just put everything in the same. So I'm going to take this little, these, these knives are super sharp. Um, wife and kids, they've cut themselves already. I mean, these things are some, some new knives that we got. Um, you know, you try to be bougie at Wally World or Walmart or Target, wherever we got them. But, they're not, they're not getting to. They are. Let's see if you can. See if you can focus in on that. Hold on. I'm stand behind it. There we go. There we go. And it says. Game shot. So, I'm just going to do the little cut real quick. I'm not all professional. But you see how good they cut it? You see how sharp it is because look it cuts right through doesn't smash the tomato you just do a little bit of pressure and it cuts them bad boys up mm, so lay that bad boy and if my, if my cousin Jay you out there you be cutting this stuff up. He's like a gourmet chef type. I mean, he's not really one, but when he be cutting up these vegetables, he be doing it. So he probably, he cut on so easy, it's funny. And he probably looking at me like I'm crazy, like, bruh. So, Jay, uh, you know, sorry it's not to your standards, but this is, this is what I'm going to do. It's gotta work with me, bro. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't do it that fast. Yeah, they be doing all that. No, I might slice my finger. I don't have those cooking gloves. So let's take this. <laughs> Tomatoes smell good too, you know? Everything smells so fresh. Take these bell peppers. Gotta get the, get everything out of them. I and mean, this is how I cut them. This is how I cut them. Now, I saw that almost cut my finger too. But I didn't put a lot of pressure on it, so I'm, I'm good. Now again, my cousin Jay, he cut these, he cut these things so good, man. I mean, he's just going, pop, 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 
pulling stuff out like it was nothing. I was like, bruh. Alright, then go here. So then I'm just gonna go in. Where's he going? 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 Y'all are funny. It's not a big deal. Just to hold it for a minute. Kid probably not even gonna eat, the, eat that anyway, but it's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Okay. Alright. Alright, so. Let's see what we got next. Okay. So we did that. We diced that. We flipped it and flopped it. Here they go again. Boy, they love using olive oil. I tell you what, man. So now it's to heat the. You have to heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a large oven to save nicely. Pan, add shrimp. Cook until pink and shrimp eat reach a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees for three minutes per side. Remove shrimp. To clean cutting board, keep pan over medium high heat, and then to finish the filling. We're going to add the poblano, the corn, and hot. Okay, so we're getting ahead of ourselves. So I like the why because when you be doing the stir fry stuff, you know. So and then when you put the little, uh, see, we got a little teaspoon of again. Come on, gotta be careful. It's been a slippery. We got the star extra. Get in there, get in focus. Get in focus. The extra virgin oil, olive oil. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. Yeah, that's a good. Cause you know the olive oil be having a very strong taste sometimes as I know, that I notice. Has a very strong taste. With food, you can taste you can taste it pretty pretty well there. Okay. Alright. Okay. So then let's go ahead and get some scrimp thrown in our All right, so just kind of about two to three minutes on each side. Okay. Oh, beat two, 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 beat two, beat two, ba two, ba two, ba, scat man, ba two, ba two, ba, di 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 two, ba two, ba. Look at that sizzle, you hear that sizzling, that sizzling. Too fresh, had a little bit of shell in there. Right, so. Even though, trust me, this thing's just easy. It's easy to work with. Okay, and they are definitely turning the color I like. Just flipping them over. You gotta kind of keep track of what you flip over. Kind of move them to a certain size so you know which ones you're flipping. Okay. Shrimp cooks so fast, so you gotta be careful. So, just gonna remove the shrimp real quick. 
I want to work with those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, you see that? Yeah, buddy. Put those in the microwave and have them sitting in there so the heat don't escape. And then it's time to add the other stuff here. And sometimes you gotta be careful just pouring heat over an already hot pan because it can catch fire. As you know, because that's happened before, pan be so hot, you pour that grease on it, it's <clears throat> So we don't want that. We're going to turn this down a little bit. So This is the filling, okay, that I'm cooking here. Probably should have cut the bell peppers a little bit smaller, but the kids will take it out, throw it out or something. That's fine. You need a little vegetables anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> while that's doing that, it says stir occasionally. But while that's doing that, we're going to grab the shrimp. It says to grab the shrimp and... Oops, I threw the core, I threw the uh, tomatoes in there, but it's fine. I was supposed to do it after, but... Alright, so that should be pretty good chopped up. Add that in there. And the taco seasoning right here. The taco seasoning. Part of me, you want to add a little water or something. Man, it's going to be too much. It's going to be too seasoned. we got to add some water or something in there. Only for two or three minutes, it's going to be. I got to dilute it a little bit because it might. I don't like spicy, but I don't want it to be too spicy for the kids either. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. Just to dilute it a little bit, just to kind of throw it, you know, not too much, just a little bit. Filling. So that's cooking. And while that's cooking, we're going to uh, get another pot, which is why I kept this one. Okay, so place tortillas on a clean work surface. Divide half the shredded cheese. So we get half of the shredded cheese. The rest will be um, reserved for the remaining sauce. 
between the, let's see, okay, so you divide half the shredded cheese between the tortillas in an even layer. Top with filling, place in center. Wipe pan clean and reserve. Tuck one end under the tortilla under the filling. Okay, return to the pan used to cook the filling to stir low heat and add one tablespoon of one. Yeah, that's that's looking real good. What y'all think? It's looking pretty good, huh? That's looking pretty good. I would I would say look at that. Yeah. It's a nice it's a nice filling. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna switch sides here. Put this over here, put this back over here. Now see, I like, this is the way I like to make my, when I'm cooking tacos, it's like my mom. We'd always use a little, either vegetable oil, a little olive oil, and then you put the tortillas in there because we like them crispy the tacos. And uh, smells good. Tastes good with a little crispy to hip. Oh, yes. This is about to be bomb.com. Flies, man, where did you come from? I'm not even bothering you. Man. All up in the Kool Aid and don't know the flavor. All up in the mustard and can't catch up. All right, so place the tears on a clean work surface. Divide half. And uh, let's see. So let me move this out of the way. Just out the way for a second. And I'm gonna use the cutting board to make that. We're gonna use the pan. It's gonna be my clean surface. And rinse it out. Play with cut off in a minute, so I gotta just is just the time right there. All right, so they give you six of them bad boys. That's cool, huh? Right, all right. And I got more shredded cheese, but it says divide half of the shredded cheese evenly between the tortillas and even layer. Making it even. You know, a pinch, pinch or so, just so you can spread the stuff. And this will be used, the rest of this will be used, that's about half, will be used for the cheese sauce. Okay. So, this is what it's looking like. So I say that's pretty even, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. So then it says add the it's on low. So we have to take this filling and add it in here evenly. You know, you make them down the make it down the center. Try not to make it too. Thick because you gotta fold them. So I'm trying to make them thick, but not too thick. You dig? Had to add a little, like I said, I add a little water so that it can dilute some of that seasoning. It might be a little bit too strong. So let's see. My twins, they have alert allergies and stuff. So I'm trying to serve the seasoning. That I just want to make sure should be fine, but just want to make sure, you know, just gotta be careful myself. Now, here comes the hard part. 
me, I wasn't good in arts and crafts, so I can't draw and stuff like that. So when it comes to these, tuck one end of the tortilla under, filling and roll tightly to place steam side, seam side down. So <sighs> gotta tuck. And I'm pretty some. Well, when I'm rolling a burrito or something, I'm pretty good at that. Y'all please make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you don't have animals and stuff running all over the place. They're all on top of your countertops while you're trying to cook. That's why you can't eat food from everybody because everybody ain't clean. You be seeing this stuff on the internet. Trying not to lose. Hopefully, I can get three more of these in here. Okay. Yeah. Season is nice. Bell peppers are good. Dad, open up your sinuses a little bit. So, what it's saying now is, let's see, I wonder if they can fit on my stovetop oven. Do y'all think I can get these in here? We'll see. Okay, so it says, like I said, you guys, if you're just joining, I don't like cooking in uh, dirty, the kitchen is dirty, that's why I had to clean up everything and as you see I clean as I go because then when you get done, I have to work. So once I put all that stuff in, I'm going to rinse all this stuff out and we're going to make these, uh, we're going to see if we can. Now I'm not a neat freak, but I have neat freak qualities. so. That's what I say. All right, so let's try to transfer these as easy. Just until they start turning brown, you see? Looks good. Ah, presentation. Well, let me take this piece of corn off. Let's try it again. Here we go. until everything was melted. Y'all watching that pan for me? Oh. It's about time. Hold on. I would say that's brown. <laughs> so it's, we, we good.
let those chill in there for a minute while we finish up doing Now you know me and sauces, man. We will never get these sauces right. Good thing these nasty pans are good. You'd be looking like that stuff be on there, but you throw a little water in there, let it throw a little water in there, let it sit for a few minutes, and then the stuff wipe right out. Yeah, uh, I know that doesn't look great, but hey, we did it. So, thank y'all for joining. I'm going to go ahead and feed the kids here. And um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, tune in next week for another cooking adventure. So, appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe. Check out my videos, uh, my reaction videos, my podcast at the Peace Mohair Grease podcast. Check out my music, merch, all that. Just go to hiswillofficial.com and it'll take you to the podcast and all that. Just go there. That's the hub. www.hiswillofficial.com. And I got everything you need. Like I always say, y'all, it's peace and mohair grease. You dig? Ooh-wee. And I'm out like a sprout. No doubt. Hmm. <sighs>